Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to select different DOM elements and then modifying those DOM elements. In the previous screencast, what we did was we incorporated jQuery library into our website. Now in this one, what we are going to do is different, um, we are going to select the DOM elements and modify it. So first of all, we'll make an ID of wrapper, div of ID wrapper, and then we'll create some uh, styling for that. So we'll open a style tag which is uh, this is style tag and then uh, we'll type in hash uh, then wrapper I'll give it a height of uh, say 900 pixel and a width of uh, again 900 pixel and then the next thing that uh, I want to give is a background color which is red and uh, I'll okay the next thing uh, that I want to do is uh, I want to check if it is working so I'll uh, go back to my desktop open the folder tutorial uh, in uh, Firefox so um, it's gonna give me this page which is a page which we are working on so this is a, a body uh, and uh, it is having a div called wrapper which is having a background color of red now the next thing we are going to do is erase this background color CSS property of background color. Um, we'll go back to our Firefox and then refresh the page. So the wrapper div is there but then it is not having the background color. Now we are going to give it a background color of uh, red using CSS, I mean using Java jQuery. Now we'll open a script tag which, uh, which, is, which is gonna where we are going to write mm, the jQuery codes. So we put a dollar sign indicating that it is a jQuery code and we say the thing that we are bothered about is document. So okay, so this jQuery code is going to deal with document. And the document, if it is ready, execute a function which has nothing passed to it. Okay. And inside the curly bracket I have the core functionalities. So here is where the core functionality should go in. Okay, uh, so I have a document. No, um, if I'll explain it one more time, this dollar uh, is something which will tell the browser that it is a jQuery code, and uh, this jQuery code is about document. So uh, the thing that we are going to target will come here, and uh, we we want to check if it is ready. So there are many functions like this ready um, on click. Um, so if you know JavaScript, then uh, you have many events in it. So uh, just like that, um, in jQuery, we can uh, check if the document is ready. So the, the way we do that is uh, document.ready. And um, if the document is ready, execute this function. And the function has nothing to pass to it. So this bracket uh, parenthesis is uh, blank. Now the next, uh, these curly brackets will contain the actual function. And we close this, um, and then we have a semicolon. Now here we'll execute the core function. Now the reason why we do this is we don't want the JavaScript, I mean jQuery function to be executed even before the document is ready. So that is it. So we'll do one thing, we'll just uh, make sure that this is working um, till now. Alert. We'll uh, give it a high. Refresh the page. Okay, it's not working. I have an error. Dollar document dot ready function. Okay, this is an error. I don't want a dollar sign in front of uh, alert. So I have uh, an alert uh, which uh, is saying the same as hi. So this is working till here. So document ready function is working. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to select the wrapper. So the way I do is I put a dollar sign and uh, as saying that it is um, a, a jQuery code, then I put a, a hash symbol which indicates jQuery that I'm going to target something, an ID, uh, some ID. And the name of the ID is wrapper. Okay. So um, jQuery will target an ID of wrapper. I'll close the bracket. And the next thing that I put as um, CSS, which indicates jQuery that I'm going to edit um, or delete or modify um, a CSS property of background color, hyphen color. And um, the parameter that I would like to pass is red. So 
what jQuery does is it will um, it will select an ID of wrapper and it will add a CSS property of background color of red. Now I'll save this and then go back to Firefox, refresh my page, and I get a red background. So this is uh, so easy, right? So I'll comment this. Another way of uh, doing the same thing is I'll copy this and then I paste it over here. And instead of selecting wrapper directly, I can do something different. I can tell jQuery, okay, go grab the body. Um, and if there are some any div inside that, uh, give it a CSS pro property of uh, background color and then the parameter is red. So before I refresh the page, I'll just come in this and uh, then make sure that the red color has disappeared. Yes, the uh, red color has disappeared. I'll save it again and go back to Firefox to refresh my page. I have the red color again. So that's it. Um, another way of uh, doing this. Uh, no, that's it. So I'll make some modifications in here. I'll uh, put another div um, of uh, ID equal to box and then okay I'll give some styling for this which is uh, box I'll give a width of um, width say 300 pixel um, no we'll give some like 50 pixel and hide again 50 pixel in background color it's gonna be green I'll go back to Firefox and save this okay I have a background color of green uh, this is a uh, this is my box uh, this is a tiny one so this is an ID so okay now I'll do one thing I'll just uncomment this code and see what is gonna happen so I have a div over here which is um, the box div and uh, I have also a wrapper over here and uh, I've uncommented this code so we'll see what is going to happen I'll refresh the page so what happens is that the green box has disappeared the reason why this happens is I have a div inside the body tag I have two div inside the body tag now according even though I've given a background color of green for the box this function will completely override the background um, color because this is the last one that is going to execute so it will grab all the divs which are inside the body tag so it has two divs the first one is wrapper and the second one is box so second one is box now uh, it will edit the CSS property of both this div and it will give it as a red so what we have over here is um, even though we have given a CSS property of um, green for uh, box we won't get that instead we'll be getting red so this is another way uh, this is uh, something which I just showed you uh, because uh, it can override functions like this um, uh, when it runs so that is really powerful and the next thing that we are going to do is uh, instead of um, um, declaring this as a box we'll declare it as a class so instead of putting a hash symbol I'll, I'll just remove that, uh, it and put it as a, a dot, dot symbol and this is a class now this class is uh, something which uh, can be used again and again in a web page whereas an ID is something which can be used only once in a web page that is the standard way of doing things um, even if you use an ID again and again in your website or uh, more than one time in your website um, it's not going to give you an error but sometimes jQuery could give you an error so it is always recommended that you, you use a class if it is repeating and you should use an ID if it is not repeating so that's it now we are going to give um, um, a background color okay now we are going to give a border border iPhone style style and we are going to give it solid we'll save it go back to Firefox refresh the page okay so this is a, a box um, we have now we are also give a float property so that it all floats towards the left and we'll go back to Firefox refresh it so this is how we we have it now the next thing that I would like to do is I want to give a background color of something like red for every odd number of boxes odd boxes so how do I do that the first thing that I do is um, I copy this and I paste it over here um, now I'll go delete this now I put a dollar sign which indicates that it is going to be a document uh, JavaScript code I mean doc, uh, jQuery code I put um, a dot which indicates that it is a class and the name of the class is uh, box and now I put um, two dots and then 
I want to select the odd number of odd boxes, which means it will ignore this the first one. I mean, this the jQuery start counting from zero, so it will ignore zero. Uh, so it, because zero is considered as even, it will not ignore the first one. It will have this box. I'll put something like this FF, so that we can identify the first one. Okay, I'll put our first one. Okay, I'll put it zero, one, two. Three, four, four, and five. So it will give all um, a color of red to all the box which is uh, old. We'll go back to Firefox, refresh the page, and we have a color, a red color, which to all the old boxes. Now the way we've done that is really simple. Just put a dot, two dots, and uh, we type in old. If you want to give it a background color uh, for all the even ones, it is super easy. Just uh, uh, type in remove old and then even. I refresh, I refresh it, I get a red color for all the even ones. Now, this is not the only property that we can edit. There are plenty of properties that could be edited. Um, for the time being, I'm just talking about the, f um, the CSS property. Now, uh, yeah. Now instead of even and odd, I just want the first box to be red in color. So what I do is first. So I have the first box red in color. Now I say I just don't want not the first box, I want the third box to be red in color. So I put dot over here and then put EQ and uh, then third box, which means it should be two, right? Because jQuery starts counting from zero. This will be the first, second, and third one. So according to jQuery, it is the second one. Um, so we'll refresh the page. So this is the third one being selected using this EQ. Um, so, so that's it. Um, these are these are the different ways by which you can select different DOM elements, and uh, we can edit uh, different properties of the DOM elements. Um, now, uh, if you go to jQuery.com, there are plenty of uh, ways by which uh, um, you can um, select different things. Uh, in, in in documentation uh, part, um, if you if you go to documentation. If you go to documentation, you can have a, uh, tons and tons of selectors which jQuery already provides you. Uh, play with it. Um, it is really easy. Um, yeah, that's it. So mm, I think I, you learned something from this tutorial. So my name is Harry. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll be, te uh, we'll be dealing with something which like the predefined um, functions or effects in jQuery, like fade in, uh, hide, um, slide, and things like that. So animate okay so um, that's it uh, thank you for watching this tutorial have a great day bye